Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to show you guys some of the steps in avoiding some problems when you're about to create a PS3 theme. So, before I start making some videos, I want to help you guys um, out before you run into any problems in the future. Now, when you do download PS3 themes, um, you go to PS3, uh, I'll give you the link in the web, uh, web description um, of this video. But, um, when you download the files to... to um, create a PS3 theme and everything's all set up you get you know your PS3 theme builder so once you open that up and you already created your theme and everything within this application and then you go ahead and press build theme and you get an error that's saying a file is missing or whatever and then everything closes down I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that so this is the PS3 theme builder and um, I can set the link to download this will be in the video description. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I already have a theme made. So I'm gonna go ahead and press open, and I'm gonna go browse for my theme. And it just so happens the theme I'm gonna be loading up is my CMYK theme. So please go ahead and download that on my website at cmykarts.com/exclusive-downloads. That link will be in the video description. So anyway, once you uh, open up this file, um, let's say you've completed the whole steps and put in the backgrounds, the custom icons, the Arthur icon, theme icon, the generator preview, and all this other stuff. And you're at the point when you want to build the theme now. You want to get the actual P P3T file, I believe it is, and um, you know to apply it to your PS3. And so what you'll get uh, right now, you know, to inform you guys as well, I'm running Windows 7. So um, yeah. So when you click on build theme, it's gonna go to the um, command line and start building a theme. Now, once it starts saving, it's gonna come up with an error. So here we go. Here's the system error. Program cannot be cannot start because the msvcp71.dll is missing from your computer. And it, give, it, it tells you to reinstall to fix the problem. Well, that actually doesn't fix the problem. So, I'm going to show you guys what to do. Now, it also says an error has occurred. And also that, um, you know, there was an error to quit the whole program. So, you can continue to ignore it and um, quit as well. But I'm going to also show you another a way around it once I show you the first solution. Anyway, I'm talking too much. So... In the video description, there's two files that I need you guys to download. It's the um, the file that you're missing, and it's another one that I believe the it's like a uh, a hand in hand pro. Uh, just download these two files. All right. So after you have these two files, right click and copy. Not even. Open up. Uh, go to Start Menu. My computer. Go into local C disk. Windows and search for System 32. Once you find System 32, double click on that and um, simply drag those two files that we downloaded from the link description I gave you guys. And, and it's gonna copy, it's gonna actually do you want to continue? Press yes or okay. Now it's actually moving those two files over to the System32 folder. It doesn't take long, they're very small files, so don't worry about any type of um, long copying and everything like that. Alright, cool. So that, it's uh, been copied over, as you can see, there it is. So I'm going to close this out. I'll continue back into my PS3 theme builder and it's gonna load up okay there it is so I'm gonna go to open Go to PS3 themes where I have my theme saved. CMYK and select that uh, theme file again. Okay. Wait 
have to load up. Alright, cool. Now I'm going to hit that build theme. And it should go to the command line once again, and everything should be done. So, as you can see, it's going to go through the whole command line. And it's surprising that I haven't seen anybody on YouTube with this problem. So, and I'm sure somebody has had this problem at one point. So, um, I'm glad I'm able to put this out for you guys. Like I said, I'm, I'm making this video to prevent, prevent any problems in the future when I do show you guys how to actually create themes for PS3. So once it's done, it's going to ask you to press the enter key. So just wait till it's done. And then when it gets to the final prompt, it's going to say, um, done, press the enter key. This is a taking a little bit longer than usual because I'm doing a screencast, but um, this usually takes you know less than a minute, depending on you know your file size and everything. All right, so look, it's done, and now it says press the enter key. So I'm press the enter key, and usually sometimes you may get an error. Okay, see now I got an error, and you would think, oh man, I've copied those two files. It's supposed to work. Well, it did work, but to prevent the application from failing. You want to make sure you run this application as an administrator. So you click, click continue if you want. It's gonna, you know, still be here instead of closing out, force closing. Um, but to prevent that, you want to go when you go to run your PS3 theme builder. You want to go um, go to your start menu, go to PS3 theme builder. All right? Oops. And then right click on it and then select run as administrator and everything should work fine I'm not gonna go build the theme again it's gonna take a little longer than I want to but like I said um, press yes to the um, notification on it running it as an administrator and you should be fine so I hope this was informative to you guys um, it will be informative to you once you've come across this bad problem and you looking for a fix so um, this is definitely a fix for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my videos. Please thumbs up this video or like my video. And also visit my website, cmykarts.com. Peace.